Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the unveiling of the Von Bronze. It's been 12 months, perhaps even longer in the making, but we've arrived tonight to what I think is going to be a special night. My name is Bruce Young. I'm a golf journalist based on the Gold Coast, and like for many of us here tonight, this is a particularly special evening. For me, for a number of reasons, getting the opportunity to host this very significant occasion in Australian golf, and also because I was a very close friend of Norman von Neider's over the last seven or eight years of his life. So I think in so many respects for me and for every one of us here, the opportunity to be involved in such a, as I said, significant occasion in Australian golf is particularly special. Every one of you here tonight is here because you have had an involvement either directly with Norman von Neider or indirectly, but there are a number of people who I need to make special mention of starting with the members of the board of the Nudgee Golf Club who are hosting us here this evening, including their president, Robert Sang, who will speak to us soon. Norman von Neider's daughter, Kerry Easdown, is here tonight and she will say a few words later on and of course she will be un involved in the unveiling of the von Brons. Andrew Mullins, representing his father, Julian, and the grandfather of Tom Mullins, who discovered Norman von Neider very close to here, just outside here, back in 1931. Andrew, welcome. The chairman of the PGA, Mr. Mark Gibson, and members of their management team, including Gavin Kirkman, are here tonight. We were to have uh, Golf Australia board member Carmel Smith with us this evening, but unfortunately, Carmel has come down with an illness. And uh, we do have, though, however, the CEO of Golf Queensland, Mr. Lindsay Ellis, and the president of Golf Queensland, Meta, Mr. Peter Castrisos, I knew I'd get stuck with that one. Peter, we're going to have a chat with you a bit later on. The president of the Royal Queensland Golf Club, Mr. Dares Knight, will be with us, uh, as will a former president of the Royal Queensland Golf Club, Mr. Ron Sleet, former PGA professional at Royal Queensland Golf Club, Mr. Charlie Earp, a longtime friend of Norman von Neider and his wife Margaret, a life member of the Australian PGA and founder of the Australian Golf Heritage Society, Mr. Tom Moore is with us from Sydney tonight. The Von Bronze sponsors and partners and club invitees. A considerable, considerable number of invitees were unable to be with us tonight for a range of reasons, traveling and uh, business commitments, but we do appreciate the fact that they uh, have made apologies for not being here tonight. There will be a DVD done of tonight's proceedings. You can see the cameras around the room. And that will be uh, available for purchase by the end of March. Wayne Lynch and his team are going to be involved in putting that together. So that'll be a special memento for all of you that have been here tonight, but also to a wider audience as well. You just need to email John Hay if you're w wishing to be uh, part of that and purchase one of those DVDs. So welcome to you all. I mentioned John Hay there. He's, he's warned me against uh, giving him special mention tonight, but we can't go any further tonight than to thank him for his amazing tireless efforts in getting this project out of the ground over the last 12 months. He and I have talked on a regular basis. <laughs> he and I have talked on a regular basis. We've sometimes nearly come to blows with a range of things, but to be honest, his tireless efforts uh, and his persistence and determination to acknowledge Norman von Neider in the manner that he should, I think uh, is, um, well, we're seeing the result of his efforts tonight. So thank you, John. Thank you for involving me in this too. <clears throat> well, to get proceedings underway this evening uh, and to welcome you all here on behalf of the Nudgee Golf Club, it's my pleasure to welcome to the stage Mr. Robert Sang. Robert. Thank you, Robert. Well, retaining the nudgy theme, their long-serving professional, John Downs, is a man that knew Norman von Neider very well. And to relate the story that would change the lives of many, including many of the members here at the Nudgy Golf Club, would you please welcome John Downs to relate the Von and the Nudgy Golf Club? Actually, some of you may be aware of an audio tribute that I did to Norman von Neider about 10 years ago and, and Norman related that story to me about meeting Tom Mullins out here and when Tom Mullins had actually said to him, uh, can, do you think you can do any better? 
Norman basically said to him, well, if I couldn't do any better than that, I wouldn't bother playing. So <laughs> feisty and cheeky all the way, as I'm sure Kerry knows. As many of you here know, Norman had a long and great association with Royal Queensland Golf Club, developing his interest in the game there as a caddy and then playing much of his golf in his latter years also at Royal Queensland, when many of you will remember the fluorescent yellow golf clubs and balls that, he, that enabled him to play golf when he was legally blind. He really enjoyed that part of his life in his latter years. And he had an eye to speak on behalf of Royal Queensland to provide a snapshot of Norman's early and later years at the club. Would you please welcome Dr Ian Liner. Thank you, Ian. Well spoken. Well, as I mentioned earlier, 10 years or so ago, I was so taken by my initial exposure to Norman von Neider that I decided I'd put together an audio tribute to him, um, basically <laughs> using my own computer and some resources from Radio TAB and a couple of friends in the industry. I voiced it over, I narrated it, I produced it, but I rang a number of people, including Peter Thompson, Bruce Crampton, David Thomas, the English golfer, or the Welsh golfer, excuse me, who finished runner-up at the Open Championship on two occasions, one of those to Peter Thompson. And even people outside of the game, including Scobie Breasley, who became a really good friend of uh, the Vons whilst he was spending time in Britain, more especially, Scobie Breasley had a bad accident racing accident in England and, and Norman in many ways nursed him back to health and encouraged him to get back to fitness by playing golf with him at Sunningdale on a regular basis. And even Johnny Famishan, the uh, boxer who, who uh, uh, Norman uh, donated some of his memorabilia to in, in the fundraising for Johnny Famishan after Johnny Famishan had been hit by a car in the, in the suburbs of Sydney. And um, that was a very special moment when I spoke to Johnny Famisham about it, and Johnny Famisham actually spoke on the audio tribute. I wasn't aware that he was in a position that he could speak fluently, but he was simply amazing what he had to say about Norman von Neider. Um, all had benefited from the associ their association with the Von, uh, but one pe person in particular was com completely enthusiastic about being involved, and that was the uh, legendary South African Gary Player. I'm about to, or Peter is about to play a few moments from that tribute where Gary Player talks openly about how he first met the Vaughan and the relationship that he had with him. Peter. A very typically enthusiastic Gary Player, but it was all, also typical of every response I had from so many people that spoke on that tribute. It's something that I'm very proud of and um, just delighted to have been involved with. Um, many of you here would have seen or read this book, this outstanding book titled The Von and written by Ben Robertson in collaboration with Norman von Neider. And I have much pleasure in announcing that Ben Robertson is with us tonight to discuss his role in that project and as a friend of Norman's over the last 10 years or so of Norman's life. Would you please welcome Ben Robertson. Thank you ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. As I said earlier, you're most welcome for those of you that haven't had the opportunity to visit the Von Brons afterwards and have your photo taken with the outstanding tribute to an outstanding man. Uh, the golf industry generally have all keen, been keen, very keen to be part of this, not only individuals such as Jack Nicklaus and Gary Player and Greg Norman, Jack Newton and a whole range of professional golfers and the industry generally have all been part of the sponsorship of this project. And there are a couple of organisations that are represented here tonight, both the PGA of Australia and Golf Australia. We were to have one of the board members of Golf Australia, Carmel Smith, speak to us tonight, but as I mentioned earlier, she's fallen ill. And to represent via his role as President of Golf Queensland, to represent Golf Australia, would you please welcome Mr Peter Christisos. Thank you, Peter. Well, Norman von Neider was for so long a member of the Australian PGA, or the PGA of Australia, whichever way you like to say it. I'm sure it's acceptable both ways, gentlemen. And of course, he had a 
he became a patron of the PGA of Australia, and then in more recent years he had a tour named after him, the Von Nida Tour, which uh, contained tier two events such as the Queensland PGA Championship, the Queensland Open, and uh, really became a stepping stone for so many young players, and I think that's probably symbolic of what Norman was all about, providing opportunities for those that came beyond or uh, after him. Here to say a few words on behalf of the PGA of Australia is the chairman of the board. Would you please welcome Mark Gibson? Well, a lady that's been sitting here taking in all these compliments and um, speeches about her dad is Kerry Easdown. So it's my pleasure to welcome Kerry to the stage to give her response to what she's heard tonight. Welcome, welcome Kerry Easdown. Thank you, Kerry, and I'm sure your mother, Alva, would be very proud of what's happened tonight as well. Before I hand over to our final speaker tonight, can I just again say thank you, John Hay, for bestowing on me this privilege or honour of being part of tonight. We've had our moments over the last few months, but I think as a result of what we've seen tonight, every bit of our heartache has been worth worthwhile, and your tenacity to get this project out of the ground has been simply stunning. He's fought against the odds on occasions to get this project to where it is tonight. His passion in this labour of love has culminated in the destination at which we have arrived this, this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, to close proceedings, would you please put your hands together for the man that's made this all possible, Mr John Hay.